hanging out here in Horseshoe Island in Clay, New York, with, you know this guy in front of me, Tommy Sears. He's been racing for, boy, we're over 30 years now, right? Uh, yeah, we start, I started when I was 14, 51 now, so. Oh, uh, yeah, so do the I'll math, I'll let you guys, guys do the math. I'm not going to do it because I don't <laughs> want to get that number to it, but you guys can figure that out, obviously. <laughs> Last year, he ran Brewer and Weekly. Top 10 in the point standings there. The only place he ran was at Super Dirt Week, and uh, we were just talking about some interesting things that happened at Super Dirt Week. But the biggest thing about last year for Tommy was first season in since 2008 that he didn't win a race. How are we doing, Tom? Good, Doug. How's it going? Good. So I would imagine what I just said is the thing that needs to be corrected first, right? Oh, yeah. We got to do something about that. It wasn't a good season for us, and we were frustrated all year. Mm -hmm. And you told me it was – and I've heard this story. And you guys, if you listen to this channel a lot and you listen to the drivers, it was it adjusting to the, the coils, the short rods, or both? Um, it wasn't the coils because we were running the coils the year before, and we won quite a few races. We were second in the points, and uh, we, hit, we had four or five seconds. So our car was really good, and then uh, we bought the new car, which is all the short rod – Stuff like that, and uh, I don't know really. We just couldn't get it going good for what I wanted to do. Okay, because I've heard, and I can't remember who it was that used this term, but it's not like it was where you'd get off the gas and roll on it slowly. They said you almost have to drive the car like you're mad at it. Yeah, and uh, sometimes that don't work because the problem is coming through traffic and stuff, and then if you get out of it, you get too tight, you can't turn it, and then it's, it's, it gets frustrating. So in the middle of the corner, if somebody checks up or something, you got to get what is so does it like get out in front or something and push or what is it? Yeah, and then uh, then it gets off the bars, so it lets the car down, and then you can't pick it up. If if it gets off the bars, then you're just you're just pushing coming off, so you got to just wait to recover, and it's uh, it, it won't drive itself out of the push until you get back straight again. You okay, know? and you've got the same Bicknell you had last year, and I'm sure you've talked to Randy and everybody at Bicknell. Yeah. What do they tell you? Is it more setup? Is it more driver? Well, or both kind of leading towards both i guess okay because the the setup and stuff is new to us but we tried a lot of stuff and uh we're we're usually really good at that and i just i mean we had some good runs we had a second and some thirds but we just we couldn't get no consistency out of it okay. you know we're, we're the year before i could start 14 we won from four, 15th over there the year before and uh boy if we started in the top 10 we were struggling to get to the front and okay it, it really made it tough i could see how it would so but you told me your nephew didn't have the same issue and it was because of something else he drove yeah he was uh he drove the late miles for a few years and won a lot of races with that so all that short rod stuff and he he's used to having to drive a car like that so uh, mm -hmm. at least that's my excuse for him to beat me all the time well right it makes now, sense so. though because I've, I've watched <laughs> enough in-car cameras and like the imca modified to the same way you burp it for maybe a second and you're right back on so i would think the driving style with these new short rod cars is probably very similar in a mod now or am i oversimplifying no, I, I think that they are kind of close by watching watching how they react and stuff, you know, because I just, the, my problem is I can't get a car to do what I want it to do where I get off the gas and get back on it and stuff is the biggest problem. So with 37 years behind the wheel, is some of that maybe just old habits maybe? Um, it could be, you know, that's something we got to try to figure out this year and we got to get it going better. Is there changes you could make to maybe get a little bit of both? Um, there is. Um, the car we had was a short rod car only, so, um, oh, the year before, okay. the year before we were really good, I ran, our old car was long rod car and stuff, so there's options there, but we, the new car don't come with that option, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, if you, if you search on my channel for an interview with Rocco Leone, we actually had the camera pointed and showed you what these short rods are and how they adjust them. So what is the thought process? Why did we go this way, and why are the short rod cards better? What do they do going in, middle, out, that makes them faster? Um, the reason why they went to them is because people were starting to get beat by some of the guys doing it. So when everybody starts getting beat by them, they got to try to go to it. Okay, and what does it do? Walk me through the corner differently than it was before with the longer rods. Um, it's just a, it's a lot tighter race car. Oh, really? Um, getting in and... Uh, but it, they seem to have more drive, but then if you don't get through the corner right, mm -hmm. it kind of hangs on you and stuff. So, if, you know, it's just a lot of different scenarios. So do you have to throw it a little more to get it to rotate? No, Could that's the tight? problem with these cars here. If you throw them, then you, then you get hung and you slide for a long time. Okay. So you have to kind of drive it more 
and the problem is driving it more, you, you, it's a lot tighter. Okay. You know? And I also heard some people say it's a lot more physical than it was a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. A few years ago when we first went coils and doing stuff, it's a lot more demanding on the driver. Yeah, I can't, I'm not going to tell you who it was, but there was a driver who, who's been in it longer than Tommy who says, I'm not young enough to drive these things anymore. So you had somewhat of a revelation like, wow, this is a lot more work. Yeah, because the first year we did it, we were really good. We won a bunch of races and stuff, and um, but we didn't do short rod stuff, and but we were on the coils, and it's a lot more demanding and more physical on the driver. Now, I know you have a Bicknell. What year is this, and which particular model? Um, the Bicknell we have is a 2021, which we bought new last year. So okay. Only got a, but it's the short rod car, and so we're just going to have to keep playing with it. Um, we can't, I don't think we can go backwards because everybody's running and everybody's good, so we got to figure it out. Yeah, and even sportsmen, you said you even switched your son over to that. Yeah, last year we switched my son over to it, and he was really good in novice, and we moved him up, and he won the last race at the end of the year in the regular sportsman, so he's fine, but he's never driven anything other than yeah. that, so they don't know no better. Yeah, so, so we, we are onto something with that. So. Yeah. How's the car look? And, and usually I see a couple of cars here, only one this year? Yeah, with the sponsorship and uh, with Mullen Industrial and everything else, um, they housed a small block car here, too, for my nephew to drive, and... Um, just backing up the program a little bit he wants to just do one car and uh because of the business and his business yeah. got stalled a little bit because of everything a lot going of on yeah so he just wants to make sure that he's comfortable in business and uh mm -hmm. we'll back it up to one car and then uh go from there how many years have you guys been together now it's over 20 right um we've been together since like 2007 for Seven. me okay for me driving for him full time but prior to that he's always sponsored me from like 2000 not fully, but sponsored me with stuff, you know. Okay. Looks like we're close. Front axle's in. Uh, rear end's just about ready. I see that. What else is left to be done outside of the body? Um, we basically, the body's all ready to go to and everything. So we basically just have to uh, scale this car and, uh, you know, we got to put the shocks on and bleed the brakes and we're ready to go. Okay. And you said you didn't need to freshen the motor because of something that happened at the end of last year. Yeah, towards the end of last year we broke a drive line, so... It bent all the valves, so we basically freshened the whole top end and stuff, and we didn't have a ton of laps on it anyway, so we're, we're pretty good to go now. What is a ton of laps? When are we rebuilding these things? Now, what do they recommend? Um, it depends on your engine builder, but I always run, I always run our 16, 1800 laps. Mm -hmm. You know, if everything goes well, everything's looking good. And how many laps are on it now? Um, there's probably only about 650 laps on it right now. So a full season at one track? It should uh, be fine? Yeah. But you're only talking 35 lappers on a Friday night, and then we yeah. went to Dirt Week, so it's not a ton. Yeah, because yeah, usually guys say usually the best number is about 50 laps between yeah. the heats and hot laps. And then you say so you figure you're getting 100 laps every two races, so 20 races. There you go. There's your 1,000 laps right there. Right. So, okay. Good motor. You got what you need? Yes. The this motor has been, yep. been a very stout motor since we got it a few years ago. Just brew it in and maybe Super Dirt Week, or are we going to wait and um, see? That's the plans for now, but we might... Uh, Venture out and run a special here and there a little more. We're well, not I know sure. You used yet. to run Weedsport a lot years ago. Yes, but my my problem with that is my son, so he wants to go run a little more. So we'll do that. Wouldn't it be cool though? And, and I'm just asking this because I'm curious. Wouldn't it be good to race together so you guys could share information, or is um, it just too much work? It's well, the problem is it was him starting and stuff. I'm hands on with him and trying to teach him everything and. It's too hard for me to be racing if he's already got to be on the track when I'm coming in and stuff like that. So okay. he, we really got no help for him. So other than me. So and ideally, him. that would be the case if you had the help for both of you. And then you could go, hey, turn one slick on the entrance. Watch this, right? Y yeah. Yeah. But we just don't have enough help to do that and stuff. So. Okay. Well, it's good to see you. Everything's good. Everybody's happy and healthy, right? Yes. Good. So we'll just keep it that way, hopefully. All right. We're thinking about you guys in Florida. Hope you're having some good race and hit that blue down there. And uh, check us out on Instagram, too. Doug Elkins Racing. My wife's running that. So we'll uh, be giving you a heads up there as to what we're doing. Good to see you again, Tom. And you take care of yourself. Okay, All right, man? Doug. Thanks.